So what started as a few of us just wanting to revitalize a vintage movie theater turned into so much more. And it really proves that this community is hungry for art and culture. It seemed like a simple solution to a monumental task launching a crowdfunding campaign to help revive the iconic Kelsey Theater and creating a space for all manner of performing artists to showcase their work. The plan was to do five campaigns over the course of a year, making renovations as we raised money towards our ultimate goal of $50,000. But those plans were quickly abandoned as the initial campaign exploded with support, raising almost the entire final funding goal in one month's time and setting a record for the most successful theater funding campaign in Indiegogo history. We were actually so overwhelmed by the outpouring of support, both online and from our local community, that we started renovations during the campaign and were able to open shortly after that. Almost overnight, the Kelsey Theater has become the local destination for all things music, comedy, art, and film. AJ's vision and the Kelsey's success has led to new businesses moving into the adjoining space and given birth to what has now been named the Lake Park Arts District. A tattoo parlor, a vintage hood shop, a record store, clothing boutique, and a restaurant are just a few of the businesses anchored by the Kelsey and AJ's original venture, the Brewhouse Gallery, which have transformed this once aging plaza into a cultural destination. In a lot of ways, we feel as though this is an extension of brew house and what we believe over there, which is that art creates a healthy and happy community. So what is that extension? To utilize the only remaining real estate in a way that benefits both local artists and the community. Where others saw only a blank wall, AJ saw a canvas with almost endless possibilities. After hosting an art festival, as well as a few live music and food events, AJ had an epiphany. Why not transform the backside of the building into a massive mural, much like the recent revitalization of Miami's Wynwood? Wynwood was a big inspiration for this, uh, taking an area that's a little bit run down and turning it into a, a destination for art, people to see art. And uh, what we want to do here is turn this into a landmark for people to come and visit. It borders the community garden, so it just seems like a natural fit. So you might be thinking, this sounds great, but why do you need funding? Can't you find artists to do this for free? The answer isn't if we can, but rather if we should. We're concentrating on using local artists for this. In other words, artists that make their living doing art. And uh, the main thing is for them to get paid, okay? Uh, a lot of times people ask artists to do things for exposure, and we're not gonna do that. We are local artists, so we respect that fact. And what we wanna do is make sure that their time is valued. Every dollar raised is first going to go to material, then it's gonna go to the artist to pay them for their labor, for putting all their creative passion on this wall here. None of that money goes to us. It's all about the art, it's all about the artists, and it's all about this community. The hope is to raise as much as possible so that not only those already participating benefit, but it may lead to reaching out to artists that otherwise couldn't be involved. Not only do we want to create opportunities for local artists, but also artists from around the world. And the more dynamic that artist vision is, the better and bigger the community benefits. The plan is to paint the entire back of the 700 block in 100 foot sections with five artists collaborating. Three months later, work will begin on the next 100 feet with five new artists and so on. Every three months, we're going to keep adding on 100 feet until we get all the way to the end of the plaza. By the time we get there, what we'll do is we'll double back. We'll start here at the beginning again. So there's always going to be fresh art happening on this wall in this alley, keeping it beautiful. AJ and company have already taken care of the hard part. They own the building where the art will go. They got the city council to create special amendments, making them the first ever approved public mural and the city has committed to designate additional public art installations throughout Lake Park. We are here in the town of Lake Park extremely pleased and, and very excited about um, AJ and his efforts to bring art and entertainment to a growing community in the town of Lake Park. Now they just need you. By donating, not only do you have the satisfaction of knowing all of your money goes to helping artists make a living with their work, but we also have come up with some pretty cool perks you can snatch up as well. At the end of this campaign, we're going to put on a huge outdoor festival where you can enjoy uh, all kinds of different food, live music, and watching the artists do what they do best. Whether you live locally or abroad, donate big or just a dollar, you're supporting artists and every little bit will help. From all of us, thank you for your support and feel free to come by and check it out for yourself. <laughs>